working and in this video we're gonna learn how to draw this exact hook and uh, we're gonna look at the methods that we used etc what I did was I drew the hook first inserted most of the dimensions and um, now I'm gonna redraw it showing you the steps that I took All right but for most of the video this completed drawing will be there as a reference disclaimer i'm going to be saying arc circle tandem tangency radius a lot I'm, I'm going to be saying those words a lot um i hope i don't confuse you so we have started with our basically our central circle which has a radius of 22 millimeters and we're going to draw our second circle which is the largest it's six millimeters down and then six millimeters to the left in order to get its center there you go um so the radius of this central circle is 22 millimeters and the radius of the larger circle is 40 millimeters now these circles are very important so there we have them and um right so you can see the corresponding arc over there and this circle and that is the corresponding arc right so we are on the same page which is very good what we're gonna do now is we want to move over to the right hand side of our hook now in order to do that i'm just going to extend the center point of our first circle and then offset it by 34 degrees 34 millimeters sorry and this takes us to the edge or the circumference of our largest circle now i'm going to extend the center of the first circle again and offset it by 12 millimeters upwards right and um this line as you can see there 12 millimeters up and 34 millimeters across so this line let's just extend the vertical line that we drew to intersect the horizontal great so where these two lines intersect this is the center of our third circle or arc Right, and the radius of this circle is five millimeters good so we have three circles so far um, in construction lines right and um, on the hook itself there are arcs and what we're gonna do now is we are going to draw our first tangential arc it has a radius of 12 millimeters and I will explain how exactly how we are going to do this, All right? So the 12 millimeter radius arc is tangential to the five millimeter radius circle. So what we do is we add 12 and five and we get a radius of 17 and using the radius of the smallest circle that we have drawn, we will draw an arc of radius 17, just as we did. So the center of our radius 12 arc, which is a tangential arc, will fall somewhere along that arc. That is very confusing, but if you slow it down or replay it, you may understand. Okay, next is the radius 12 arc is tangential to the larger circle we have drawn which has a radius of 40 so 40 and 12 is 52 so using the center for largest circle we are drawing an arc of radius 52 and where the two arcs intersect that point will be the center of our tangential arc so let's try it so that's the center point we are using a radius of 12 and we are drawing it as you can see and it is indeed tangential to the two circles 
So we have drawn three circles so far and one tangential arc. Now in this drawing, we are definitely, as we should always, we are leaving our construction lines, but you may see me trim the excess off just a bit, just to neaten it, right? Okay, so let's go on to our fourth arc of importance. And this arc has a radius of 17 millimeters and it is tangential to the radius 5 circle as well as the radius 22 circle. So what we're going to do is we are going to add... No, we're not going to add... We're going to subtract 5 from 17. And uh, 17 minus 5 will give us a radius of 12. So using the, small, the center of the small circle as the center for arc, we have drawn we have drawn an arc with a radius of 12, right? 17 minus 5 equals 12. Uh, the radius 17 arc is also tangential to the radius 22 arc. Excuse me, but what we're going to do in this instance is we're going to add 17 to 22. Right? Um, if you're wondering how we, why we're adding 17 to 22, you will have to... Stay tuned to the channel as I post some subsequent videos explaining how to get um, tangential arcs in different situations. So 17 and 22 is 39. So we have drawn an arc here of radius 39 to cut the first arc. Let's just extend it a bit. Good. So where these two arcs intersect will be the center point of our radius 17 arc. All right, so let's see if that is correct. So we'll use it as the center and we're going to draw an arc with a radius of 17. And wonderful. Wonderful. As you can see, it is indeed tangential to both circles, just as it should be. And um, again, I'll just trim off the excess lines just a bit, just, just for neatness sake. You don't have to do this, All right? But yeah. Good, so we are basically finished with the right side of our hook. Uh, if you look at what we are drawing and the, if you look at the completed hook, you will see similarities in the shape. So now let's go over to the left side of our hook, which is a bit more challenging. So our next arc, our next tangential arc has a radius of 30, right? And it is tangential to a vertical line and also to the first circle we drew, which has a radius of 22. So how are we gonna determine, how are we going to determine where the center of this arc is. We're going to go to the center for first circle, which it, the arc touches, and um, the radius is 22. So 22 plus 30 is 52. So we're going to draw an arc with a radius of 52 millimeters. All right, so we have done that. And um, this arc is tangential to a vertical line and the vertical line happens to run through the center of our first circle. Yes, yeah, so this line, this line, correct. All right, uh, we, we drew a line in error. So I'm just gonna remove it after offsetting this. We're going to offset this line at 30 millimeters because the arc that we want to draw touches this at its horizontal point, if that makes sense. It touches that line 
30 millimeters away. Alright, so where the arc and the vertical line, the 30 millimeter line touch, that should be the center of this arc. And we're going to use a radius of 30 millimeters. That is this. And you can see once again that it is tangential. I may have messed up the explanation, but um, if I am sounding like an idiot, you can just mute me and just watch the video instead. So we have another tangential line, and that's very good. So this, this line, this arc has a radius of 30, right? And this is the corresponding arc right there. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. Um, so let's go over to, let's see. Let's continue going upwards. So from the top of the arc, from the top of our larger circle, actually, which is this point here, if you go up from this point, if you go up 13.93 millimeters from that point, right? In this case, I'm just going to offset it. I just draw a horizontal line and I'm going to offset it. 13.93. So if you go up 13.93 millimeters, it will take you to the bottom of the basically the crown of the hook all right so we have arrived and um we're doing okay so far we're doing okay so far all right from this point we have some smaller circles but it's not very difficult there's not a lot of uh tangency going on which makes it easier for us but yeah so let's continue. All right, so we're just joining the tops of the hook, which is 8.31 millimeters but we have some circles to insert and um the radius of these circles is 2.5 millimeters all right it's 2.5 millimeters so let's get that done So we're going to offset this line so that we can use it as a center line, basically. Um, and our radius is 2.5, as you can see. So that's our first circle. And then we will copy it and get our second circle. Or if you are doing this manually or traditionally, then of course you would draw it with your compass. All right, so from the top of the circles, I think we are missing a dimension, but it should be 10 millimeters going upwards. Yeah, so our reference drawing does not have the height, and um, that is my bad, that's my error, but it's 10 millimeters going upwards. Right, and you can see that we are on track from external point of one circle to the external of another circle. We are on point and it is 13.31 millimeters. Also off camera, I have inserted the dimension on the reference drawing. So the height of the top is 10 millimeters. All right, we will get back to that shortly. And um, at this point, we are almost finished. We are almost finished. 
We have another arc that is outstanding. It's an arc of 22 millimeters and it joins at the bottom of what I will call the, cr the crown of the hook. All right. So from the bottom of the crown of the hook, yeah, the arc has the arc has a radius of 22 millimeters. So let's get that arc. So we know that the center point of the arc is somewhere along there because it has to meet the bottom of the crown and its radius has to be 22 millimeters. Um, what I did as well is probably off camera. The center from the center of the larger circle, which it is tangential to, which had a radius of 40, I would have added 40 and 22, which is 62, right? To get the intersecting arc. All right, sorry, I do apologize. I did not show it on camera. All right, but that's how we got the last arc, the last major arc of tangency or tangential arc. And um, now we're going to complete the top of the hook. And we know now that the height is 10, so we're just going to draw a vertical line 10 millimeters high. The same on the other side and then we are going to join them and they are 8.31 millimeters apart so here you have it this is basically what the hook looks like um, only using construction lines so what we're gonna do now is just fill in the outlines and I have sped up the video for this section I do want to apologize for some of my explanations. It was very difficult to explain what is happening sometimes with this drawing, with the tangency. But I hope that with my terrible explanations coupled with you being able to see the drawing, that it would have helped you understand what was taking place. All right, so this is the hook without the construction lines. And this is it with the construction lines. Thank you for viewing. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.